parade is visiting the Gibsonton Fire Department. I should say probably the volunteer fire department because more than 95% of fire departments throughout the United States are volunteers. It is so fascinating to see what Hillford County Fire Rescue has done. Yeah, we, uh, we didn't have uh, all this fancy stuff uh, 50 years ago, but we had stuff that got us by. Back in the day, there was a handful of stations in each community with many volunteers and a few vehicles. The transition from volunteers to career in the county happened over a 50-year period. It was a very gradual process, starting in 1973 with the hiring of the very first career firefighter. And the beginning of 2013, the county became all career. In uh, 1967, my uncle was a volunteer at the North Hillsborough Station out in the north end of town. It got me interested. I met the fire chief and I came on as a junior fireman. In uh, 1970, I went into the Army, got out in May of 73 and got hired with Hillsborough County and I did 38 years. I started my career as a volunteer back in 1977. I become paid in 79. At a young age, I always wanted to be a firefighter. I remember the times when the volunteers would have a call and they would go down to the fire station and blow the air raid siren. I always thought that was a kind of a neatest thing as a, as a little boy. What inspired me to become a firefighter was by era. I went downtown. The jobs that was listed was sheriff office and firefighter. Being that I just came out of the military as a military policeman, I didn't want to be no more out of law enforcement. So I chose a firefighter. I applied and I got hired. I had wanted to be a paramedic and I got some information from a friend of mine and it was bad information. I was told that you had to be a firefighter to be a paramedic. So I took the fire class first, fell in love with it, became an EMT and never finished the paramedic. What inspired me to become a volunteer firefighter is I was teaching first aid classes to volunteer firefighters and they actually got a run during one of the classes and said, Beth, jump on the truck, you can go to a fire with us. I did and I was hooked. I started my career with Hillsborough County in 1996 and in 1996, Hillsborough Fire Department and Hillsborough EMS were separate agencies. So originally I was employed by uh, Hillsborough County EMS and then a year later in 1997, the two merged into Hillsborough County Fire Rescue. When I was young, I didn't necessarily have a clear path. I wasn't one of those kids that knew exactly what they wanted to do. So my choices were essentially the military, police, or fire rescue. So I joined in 2007, and from there, the rest is history. I fell in love with the job. What inspired me to be a firefighter, work in IT for maybe six months, seven months with my dad, just always saw the fire trucks passing by and I was like, I really wanted to do that. Just seeing how interesting it was, you see fires, you see traffic accidents. My first experience with Hillsborough County Fire Rescue was back in 2017. I joined the Summer Youth Fire Academy, what have you. That was the first time I've ever been exposed to firefighting. And ever since then, I joined the year-round program and I haven't left and I love it here. In 1979, Hillsborough County had all volunteer fire stations. I started my career at Gibsonton, but then I moved to a one-man station. When a call would come in, you would wait for the volunteers to get there. If nobody showed up, then you were to take the truck and you would do what you can do on the call. You, you were the firefighter, you were the captain, you were the driver. We didn't have the manpower sometime. During the daytime, there would be limited. At night, we had a lot of volunteers. People have to work and, and support their families. So sometimes you'd have to call in other stations to come help you. That was pretty common. When the transition from volunteer to career began, the volunteers were very dedicated and had been since the early 1950s. The transition included bringing on apparatus, standardized training, special forces, rescue, just a lot of specialized teams began to evolve within Hillsborough County, which did change the culture. I've been in Hillsborough County Fire Department before a lot of stations were built and existed. Obviously, we were in an infancy stage. We were just starting. The first thing they gave me was gloves. They told me to come to work and wear some jeans and t shirts Then, of course, over a period of time, then you got the boots and you got the pants and everything. We had the air bottles. They had one on the truck. We couldn't use it. 
because the county had no way of refilling it and putting no air in it. So many times I fought fires with a towel or something around my face. And I remember times when I would fight a structure fire by myself for a half hour before volunteers showed up. When I first started in 1983, the department was very sparse. My first station was Gibsonton, which was a community building. It was not a fire station. We slept in the community room. Our kitchen was in that room. Our bathrooms were portables. There wasn't very many women around. The station life was a whole lot different back in the 80s and 90s. For the longest time, HCFR embraced traditional values, values that helped create strong relationships and strong goals. But at the same time, HCFR was also focused on embracing change, changes that was needed to help the department evolve. When I first started, the fire chief at that time said, we're gonna put you into no disaster. A concrete block building with no heat, no air conditioning. When I got here, it was unusual. The people were kind of cautious about welcoming me. They called me names over the phone and I was not gonna let anything or anybody keep me out of the fire department. I went through that, that tough time for about three to four years, but it, it didn't stop me. I, I really loved the job and, and I realized that what I was going through at the time, that I had to go through it in order for other black people to get hired. I really admired Hillsborough County because it was a, a change in the department. Things changed and got better and got better and got better. We've always wanted to respect tradition. That's always been the basis of the fire service. But in terms of change, in terms of technology, in terms of ethics, in terms of viewpoints, change is super important. The community's changing every day. We meet so many people on this job. We're around so many people that we work with, we train with, we run calls on. You're exposed to a lot of different personalities uh, and it's wonderful. When you think of a fire department, you usually think of traditions, but with Hillsborough County changing, you need to be able to change those traditions and be open to that change. Uh, I say the biggest difference between the newer generation and the older generation is the older generation is very traditional based. This is the way we've always done things, it's tried and true, it's worked, why change something that's not broken? Versus our new generation, they're very adaptive to change. They love technology. Having that aspect of this influx of this newer generation has been insanely beneficial to us because we've seen a change in the fire department. To witness all, all types of people from all walks of life, from young to old, having the passion to better themselves and for the people to serve their community with all their heart, it's great to see this coming about. As the department evolved, so did the challenges. As we changed, we started to identify areas that needed improvement. One of the biggest being mental health. It's trying times. I mean, when you, when you run today, you could be running 15, 18 calls a shift, and it does take a toll on your body. It takes a toll on your mental status. I always, with my crews, I always, uh, when we had a bad call, come back sit around the kitchen table and, uh, and talk about it, especially with the young kids. We definitely have been placing a lot of effort into mental health today versus back in the 70s, even in the 90s when I got hired, we didn't talk about our feelings if a call bothered us. A lot of these guys that are wealth of knowledge, some of these guys just wanna come in, just talk, and they're talking to a lot of the older guys, but us younger guys, we're like, how was it when you were here? We wanna know like the struggles that you guys endured compared to what we're dealing with today. During the era of the 70s, firefighters had to do things without the benefit of a lot of technology. We had a lot of hand tools more than hydraulic tools. We had to know things in our head rather than to rely on something else. We didn't have mentors. We were all fresh, we were all young, we were all new. We had to learn by reading about other people and how they handle things and everything. Firefighters now, they can learn from the experiences of their captains or their engineers or their lieutenants. They can learn a lot from them. For the future, I'm excited for mentorship. We place a lot of emphasis on having mentors just having somebody kind of guide you along the path that's been there and done it. They can kind of tell you maybe what they wish they would have done. In the future of Hillsborough County, the possibilities are endless. The county is booming. This has led to a huge boom in our department as far as funding goes and new stations. I'm very impressed with the, the way the department has turned out. I hope the equipment gets better, you know, improvements, and because they're always changing things, it's good. I think from 
where we started to where we're going into the future, all of us have one goal, and that is to serve the people in Hillsborough County. My hope for future generations of response personnel is that they carry the sense of pride, they carry the sense of honor, and they carry the sense of duty to the community that they serve. I've only been here for a short amount of time, and I'm gonna stay here for a long amount of time in my future. So I'm excited to see how the department will, will change and grow and become something I love even more.